What's up guys and welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, we're going to be doing my best and worst purchases of 2020. So I've seen this video floating around YouTube and I wanted to jump on the bandwagon and since it's still January, I think it is still appropriate to put this video live for you guys. And I have to say that this year, um, I had to scrape the bottom of the barrel to find some of my worst purchases, so um, I hope that you like this video. If you are just coming across this video, my name is Angelina and I make YouTube videos, obviously, um, but I would really love it for you to hit that subscribe button right now before you forget and then, you know, you go away from this channel and you're like, hmm, what was that really fun video with that great girl that now I can't remember her channel? So go ahead and hit the subscribe button just to get it out of the way. Um, but yeah, let's go ahead and jump in to today's video with my best and worst purchases of 2020. So I wanna put a little disclaimer out there. So if you're looking at me and you're like, hmm, why does she look like a Wii character? I just recently had my eyebrows microbladed. So if you're interested in all of that process, go ahead and check out my previous vlog. I'll link it up here. Um, but yeah, so I'm just trying to like figure out how to do my makeup without like getting it in my eyebrows. So just ignore these, okay? <laughs> but anyway, let's kind of bounce back and forth between the best and worst. I won't go in any particular order, but one thing that I will say that I did this year was I didn't spend a lot of money and I didn't cave into the sort of like trendy items. Like I didn't buy really anything off of TikTok. I know that was something that a lot of people were doing. Um, and I, don't get me wrong, I came really close, but for the most part, I kind of just didn't need it. So that's the one thing about my shopping tendencies is that if I don't feel like I'm gonna need it or I'm gonna get my worth per wear, um, I don't really buy it. So I will say before we get started that some of the price points range from luxury to super cheap off of Amazon. And I have found a lot of good products and a lot of like not so great products that I didn't really use. So anyway, before I get into the items that I purchased, I do wanna say that uh, I, I'm not somebody who really is into gifting, but this year for Christmas, I feel like I hit the nail on the head for what I wanted for Christmas. So a lot of the, the first two pieces will be what I got for Christmas. And the first one being these Fendi earrings. I will do a close up shot of them so you can see. These are the Fendi hoop earrings. And I got these in obviously the gold cause I'm a gold girl. Um, but these were a gift from my boyfriend and I have been having my eye on these for a long time and I love hoops, but I wanted to invest in some high quality ones. Well, he invested in high quality ones, but I love these. I've worn these nonstop and I know that I'm going to wear them for many, many years. And I think that that's a great purchase and or gift. And then the second is my new Apple Watch. So I had a black Apple Watch. It's actually over there. I'm gonna give it to my mom. Um, but I had the black one because when I went to go purchase them like years ago, they didn't have the rose gold one. So I just really needed one to track my um, activity. And I hated it and I never wore it when I got dressed up. So whenever I wore a nicer outfit, I always took it off and put on a regular watch. Um, but then I constantly felt like I had to have my phone with me, which is what I love the most about the Apple Watch is that I don't have to have my phone constantly in my hand in order to receive notifications. So I did upgrade for Christmas to the stainless steel gold. And I will have to say that I've loved this. This is the best thing I ever did. I know that sounds like really crazy, but I would wear this with nice outfits, with comfy outfits, you know, to work out, not to work out, all that kind of stuff, because it just kind of goes with the rest of my jewelry. I don't wear anything other than gold. So I really needed a gold watch but I love that Apple came out with the gold one. It's unfortunate that it's the most expensive one they have, um, but it was something that I was looking to get as a gift for Christmas, and thankfully I did get it. So anyway, this is something that was the best Christmas gift that I got, and it'll probably be the most used product that I have for the next few years because I wear it absolutely every single day. And before we get even deeper into everything, anything that I mention will be linked down in the description box, whether it was good or bad, because just what is good for me may not be what it is for you and what I didn't like you may really be into. So I'm gonna leave everything down in the description box down below. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try to stay on this side and I'm gonna try to keep pop-ups on this side of the screen. Uh, if I don't, if I'm not able to do a close up because some of the things in this video are gonna be just like popped up here and I'll just explain them. But anyway, let's just go ahead and get started with the first product, which is a good product that I recently got towards the end of 2020. And it was something that I've been wanting to get for a really long time. And that is the Tan Luxe Tailor Made 
tanning drops that you just put in your tanning lotion and it just kind of gives you a nice gradual tan. So 2020 was the year of pasty me. I didn't self tan at all unless I was actually like naturally tan, um, but I didn't use tanning mousse at all. I didn't buy any, I didn't spend any money on tans. So when I picked this up at the end of 2020, I really bought it because I wanted to feel like healthy and have like a little bit of a glow, but I have been obsessed with this. This is the easiest application I've ever experienced with it when it comes to tanning. It feels like it's the least amount of hassle because you can get out of the shower, you know, kind of dry off a little bit, go in with your moisturizer and your tanning oil and boom, next day you're tan. I'm not really worried about making sure that I've gotten completely dry, that my hair follicles are closed, that I have it like all spread in, I didn't get any streaks. The smell is so bad for um, regular tanning mousses. I know I kind of got gotten over it the more I used it, but in general, they kind of are gross. And this has no tans, I've gotten no streaks, and if I did sort of like not rub it in in one area, I just wiped it off the next day, like scrubbed it in the shower and boom, could reapply. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Um, I did use this on my face, even though this is just the body one, and I did get like a few bumps. Um, so I'm probably going to invest in the face one, later on um, but I did have some friends reach out to me and tell me about cheaper alternatives to this so I will also link those down below because I think this is like around $57 and you only get oh like 1.6 fluid ounces so not that much but I haven't I probably used this like five or six times and that's where I am with it so we'll see um, but I did get some good recommendations for cheaper ones I'll link down below as well but really love that and I can kind of see that being my winter fall winter or like really quick need a healthy glow kind of tan so like i mentioned earlier i did have to scrape the bottom of the barrel to get to my not so great purchases or purchases that i didn't that i have regrets buying and one of them is this misguided fanny pack so i love a fanny pack right like i think they're so chic and versatile and they kind of like elevate a streetwear look but just not this one um my sister has a burberry one and i love that one so this one is from misguided and it's not bad and i've worn it in quite a few photos and i've used it quite a lot so it's not like i didn't get my price per wear i did kind of wear the crap out of this thing but you can kind of just see that there's like fraying all of these pieces are coming out you cannot really fit anything in here like the only thing i can really fit in here is my phone and like maybe my car keys but i could not put my wallet in there and my car keys and my phone extra mask and chapstick like that's like five items could not fit that in this at all and like i said the fraying is really the thing that kind of gets me and that it just feels very cheap so um not that it was a bad purchase and that I won't buy another fanny pack it's just that I'll have to invest in like a better one next time because this one isn't really isn't really this and, and I think for 2021 quality over quantity is going to be the move and the trend for shopping so I definitely will get rid of this donate this one and then look into buying a more sustainable uh one for the future all right so on to the next product which I am so glad that I bought, and I'm sure you have seen it all over Instagram and YouTube, and if you don't already own one, then you need to get one. Um, and that is the Revlon Blow Dry Brush. This thing is amazing. I'm sorry if there's like a hair all up in it. Um, but I have a really fine, thin hair. Like, do you see this hair right here? That's all I have, okay? This is like this, okay, nothing. There's nothing here, all right? Naked mole rat, that's what I am. So this bad boy is wonderful because I feel like I can kind of get that volume and that bounce with a blowout without having to be very good at doing a blowout myself. So I really love this guy. He gives you lots of body, lots of volume, and sort of movement in your hair. Um, and he's super easy. You can blow dry your hair very, very quickly. If you have thin hair like me, this takes you 10 minutes and you kind of have a already done and styled look. So I love this, especially with 2020 not being the year of going out. It was nice to just kind of feel put together with a good hairstyle. We'll say I would not buy it in the blue next time. I wish they would just have like solid colors because this blue is like it's not my color, um, but yeah, I mean, other than that, that's like my one complaint about is the color, but other than that, it's amazing, and there are tons of really great tutorials on there. I use this all the time, like I mentioned, so this was a wonderful purchase, and it was not very expensive, so I know this is like a good 
alternative, if you want to say, for like the Dyson um, Air Wrap or their blow dry brush, although I wouldn't really compare the two, I'm sure that they are very, very different. But for the price point, it is amazing and totally worth your money. All right, so next comes a not so great purchase. And when I'm looking at all of my not so great purchases, I've realized that 90% of them are accessories. Um, so with that said, these heels right here. So these are from Nine West and I was looking for a nude pair of heels and I don't think the shoe is bad. Like I love a classic pointed toe pump. The problem is, is this color does not work for me. It doesn't work for my skin tone. Um, I'm way darker than this. Um, I thought I was going to be pale when I bought this. So I think it's the color that really throws me off and that's why I never wore them. So I'm going to sell these and look for a darker sort of mauve brown color. I think that would be more flattering even though it's not like my actual skin color. Um, I think it'll be more flattering because this is kind of just like just sitting next to me washes me out, right? Like I just I just think it's too like creamy yellow pink where I need a little bit more olivey tone in the shoe. So anyway, the shoes are really comfortable. I just have never touched them and I don't think that I will touch them. So that's why it's key to always get the right color. So this was kind of a flop for me. And I'm normally really good at online purchases, but this one was definitely not, not the one. All right, so moving into another great product, which is my wireless charging station. So I kind of upgraded to this little wireless charging station because I have a very tiny nightstand and just having a million cords kind of like getting up on top of the nightstand and having things like fall off at the end of the day when I unplug it, it's like look, all over the place, right? So I wanted something that was a little bit sleeker, a little bit simpler and compact and functional. So this is the one I picked up from Amazon. I will link it down below. And what's cool about this one is that it's a four in one. So you can charge your phone, your Apple Watch over here on the end. It has a space for your AirPods and your like iPad pen. So you kind of get four for the price of one and it sits up so it does kind of like sit up on a stand like so like that where you can just kind of like set your phone on it and your apple watch and everything so this one was pretty inexpensive sam has a nicer one and it's definitely way more expensive and i think it works a little bit better but i have never had a problem with mine so i will link this down below because i think it is nice and it's clean and it simplifies your charging station so go wireless and i can keep all of my charging cords packed away for when i travel so it just kind of makes it a little bit easier i don't have to have like four extra cords and another fun tip that this does is that when i put my phone on this at night it forces me to put my phone down because in order for my phone to charge it has to be on this dock and i can't like touch my phone while it's on here because that's just very inconvenient. So it definitely has helped me get off my phone at night a little bit more. So I think that if it is just a really good purchase overall, really happy with it. And yeah, go wireless because it's super clean and functional. All right, next not so great purchase. And now that I'm going through all these not so great purchases, I guess I have more than I thought I did. And this is the DJI little pop, little socket, what is it called again? It's like your little, it's like a pocket camera. I can't remember what it was called, but this thing has never worked. Never. I bought it, didn't work. Try to fix it, didn't work. Talk to customer service, doesn't work, okay? The only unfortunate thing is, is that I didn't get the warranty with it, so I just have to keep it because returning it. I could have returned it, but I waited past 30 days. It was a whole mess, right? So mine just absolutely never calibrated. And I have a DJI Mavic 2 drone that's amazing. Luigi, shout out to him. He's awesome. Love him. But this is not good. I love this for the idea of vlogging because it's super low key and it stays on a gimbal and it swivels and it's supposed to be like nice solid movement. And it just never worked for me. It just would never calibrate. I think it was just broken from the beginning. So I'm really disappointed in this because this was like $300 I think. And I didn't, didn't get a chance to return it, which is on me, but it just doesn't work. It just doesn't work and I've heard so many not so great things about it. Although I know that there are some vloggers who love it and swear by it, it just didn't turn on. Like it wouldn't work, wouldn't work. I tried everything. So kind of upset about that because I think it would have been a great addition to all of my equipment arsenal, but unfortunately it didn't. And it kind of deterred me from wanting to buy a new one because I thought maybe it was just this one, but 
I don't know, I just don't want to spend another $300 and it not work, right? It just seems a little bit too complicated, too little, too sensitive. So yeah, this was definitely a blender this year as well. All right, so moving on to a good purchase this year was anything organizational, okay? I have been home living with my parents for the past two years and so I'm in my sort of childhood bedroom and a lot of my furniture was designed for smaller people and me having less stuff, not having all of like my camera equipment because I didn't have any of this while I was living here. So I had to really think about investing in organizational things and the first thing that I did was buy these jewelry little trays. So I have three, so I have one for necklaces, one for watches, and then one for all of my earrings. So I have tons of room still left in this one to fill up with earrings and this one is for my necklaces and rings which has just been a game changer unfortunately they don't fit in the dresser that I have the right way um, but I will just take these to my next place as organization um, and I just think it's made my jewelry a little bit more simple I don't have to have all of the old jewelry box I was able to get rid of those and sort of have everything laid out so I can see what I have, what I don't have. I can always do inventory because I'm constantly wearing things, taking them off in different places, putting them in little pouches, you know, while I'm out. So it's good to always have it to where I can see everything. And then it also allows me to see what's in my collection in case I want to purchase um, something different that I don't have. I don't want to have multiples of the same thing. So for, so for instance, now that I have these Fendi earrings, I probably won't purchase another set of gold hoops at this size again. I might get like a bigger pair or a smaller pair, but I don't wanna to have too many of the same thing. I just kinda of think that's a little bit ridiculous. All right, so moving on to another best purchase of 2020. I love this product so much, okay? I have always wanted one, and I don't know why I never bought one sooner, but that is my little suction cup tripod, okay? I mentioned this in our Hilton Head wedding weekend vlog. Again, I'll link that up if you're interested in seeing that. Um, but I bought him and he's incredible, okay? So he goes in my car most days where he kind of like gets suction cupped to my windshield and I'm able to put my camera there. And he's gone onto my mirror in order for me to film IGTVs or reels. Um, he's just overall like a really great product and he's pretty adjustable like you can take this extender piece off in case you don't need that much room it's actually cups and it's so sturdy so the thing i was worried about was it sort of falling off in the middle um especially when you're driving and things like that but he's not going anywhere anywhere okay he's staying there and i actually do remove him from my windshield um if i'm not going to use him every single day so i don't get one of those like rings around my windshield but he is the best product I ever bought for camera equipment as like in terms of vlogging and things like that. It's just, I feel safer and more comfortable if I'm vlogging in the car because sometimes I talk my best thoughts out in the car um, and if I wanna record that. So I feel safer knowing that my camera is super secure to the windshield and that it's not gonna be flying around when I'm driving because safety first, okay? But yeah, he is amazing, love him and would definitely repurchase him um, after this sort of like suction cup thing wears out. We'll definitely get another one. Might just get a backup one. Um, but yeah, he is incredible. So if you are a vlogger or you are filming reels or things like that, a suction cup tripod is the way to go. Another great product that I love and can see myself wearing for as long as it lets me are these boots from ASOS. So I had mentioned this again in a previous vlog. I've worn this quite a few times on my Instagram. They are linked in my Like It To Know It profile. So if you don't follow me there, be sure to check that out. I will link it down below. But these are dupes for the church's boots. I had had my eye on the church's boots and I was really willing to pull the trigger, which is like $600 um, for these boots. And then I came across these and what I really love about them is that they are a nice little play off of those like chunky um sort of like I don't know what you call them but I call them like space boots like, like those big chunky ones like I'll put a picture so you know what I'm talking about um but they're not really my style but a combat boot is but I wanted something that was a little bit more elevated and had a little bit more style to it versus it just being like a plain lace-up because I feel like those can be a little like circa 2012 right, when we were in middle school and we were wearing combat boots and like that was the thing to do, right, like Miley Cyrus vibes. 
Um, but I love this because it has the thick strap that comes around the laces and the two gold buckles, which just kind of gives it a little bit chicer, more high fashion vibe. So these are super, super comfortable and I was really surprised by the quality and the sort of like softness of the leather. It's faux leather, but you know what I mean? Um, and just how easy they are to wear. They don't like rub my calves really weird, especially since um, I did have Achilles surgery when I was a sophomore in college. So my Achilles can be a little bit sensitive to certain shoes. And I have no problems with this one. You can wear really thick socks with this. Um, nice fit and has like really good sole chunkiness. So these are overall the best shoe purchase I made of 2020. And I'll be sad if I can't get my hands on another pair. Um, but if not, then I'll just invest in the church's boots because I really wanted those too. But these are such a great alternative to them. So I will link these down below. But these are just great. You can wear these with shorts, dresses, pants, leggings, all kinds of stuff. I've worn these so many ways already. And I just know that I'm going to continue to wear them even leading into the springtime with cute little dresses. Because I think they're flattering and they're not like too thick around your calf. I have pretty like tiny little calves so and ankles. So it they are really, really fitting and flattering. All right, so this is another shoe purchase and this one is actually a worst purchase. So these are the Ula Johnson tall knee-high boots in this sort of reddish brown color. And I purchased these off of The Real Real, and I was obsessed with these when I went to go purchase them. And unfortunately, they're just a little too red and they don't fit me all that great. And the thing about the real real, at least in my experience, is that if something doesn't fit, they're non-returnable. So you can reconcile with them, which is great, except for they get to make money off of you twice, um, or you can just sell them yourself. But I have worn these a couple of times and I'll probably still continue to wear them just because they were very expensive um, and I wanna get a good wear out of them. But the color is just a bit off, so I can only wear them with certain items. They're not like a true like leather, like cognac brown. I don't know if you can see the difference. Yeah, maybe you can see the difference there. They're just a wee bit off in coloring to where it's just a little bit too red for my taste, and then it kind of hinders my accessories, I guess. So I will still wear them, but overall they didn't fit that great, and they are kind of like a weird color. What? I'm busy. Okay. Rude. All right, so the final best product purchase of 2020 has got to be the infamous, famous, and that's what infamous means, Zara bodysuit. Okay, so this is the classic Zara bodysuit. So I have it in one color, two color, three colors, four five, six, seven, seven colors. I have it in every color besides like two. One was like a leopard and one was like a hot pink, which I don't know, the leopard one might go back and find it. But this is the most versatile piece of clothing I own. So you would have seen this made famous by Rosie Huntington Whiteley, who I love. Um, but this is just the most flattering neckline. It is like kind of like a razorback, but it's subtle. This fabric is divine. It's stretchy, but it's like kind of like, it's like a scuba stretchy spandex butterness. It's just amazing. Love it. Absolutely love it. Have it in every color, right? I've literally worn this shirt so many times. Uh, I will like pop up all the times that I've worn it, right? So many, so many times. Zara, I'm just a diehard fan for this and I will continue to repurchase it if they continue to have it in stock. So the white, the nude, the black, that's kind of what you need up front, like these three. And then as soon as you can get those, get it your hands on like the green color, the purple. This color is my color, like this is my jam. I'm passionate, passionate about this bodysuit. I think it's the best thing I ever bought. I personally don't have to wear a bra with them because they already come with like a little extra lining in the front. So super simple, perfect, staple piece would be the best product purchase I have in 2020, hands down. Yeah, I literally just like love them. Is that like weird? There's just so many. I love them. 
and they're pretty expensive. I think they're like 20 bucks. I think they're 1999. I don't think they're that expensive. I'll look it up, pop it on screen, just to fact check. But these, these guys, these guys right here, golden, a gem, perfect. Everything about them, stunning. Okay. All right. See y'all in the next video.